Ed Mullen, Fire Chief, Perth Amboy Fire Department. In 2021, the men and women of the Perth Amboy Fire Department were able to keep all the residents and properties in the city of Perth Amboy safe by conducting over 4,500 fire inspections and responding to over 5,000 runs. I'm Tashi Lee Vasquez, and I'm the Assistant Director for the Office of Economic and Community Development. Our mission is to improve the physical and fiscal conditions of the city by fostering economic development, creating jobs and business opportunities, and improving the overall quality of life in our city. We advance Perth Amboy by empowering residents to thrive, diversifying our revenue, and growing investments and development. Last year, we applied for, were granted, and successfully managed over $5 million in grant funds. Through local, state, and federal partnerships, we were able to provide COVID relief grants to small businesses, rental assistance to our residents, revitalization in our downtown district, all while planning for future parks and infrastructure improvements, and sustainability. We also collected an additional $2.4 million in private funds to develop affordable housing opportunities. As we move from recovery to resilience, I look forward to what we can accomplish together this year and in the years to follow. I am Diane Roman, the Interim Director of the Department of Human Services. The Department of Human Services hosts services and programs for all agents and abilities and includes the Office of Vital Statistics, aging, recreation, and housing and social services. One of the major accomplishments in 2021 was the largest increase in vaccination rates in Middlesex County through the work of the city's COVID-19 task force, hosting over 40 clinics, canvassing, and the distribution of educational materials and services, as well as hot meal distributions. In 2021, human services staff continued operation despite the aftermath challenges brought about by the pandemic, by developing creative ways to engage residents with modified in-person assistance mixed with increase in technology and department operations. We welcome our seniors back to Olive Street, continued our recreational programs for our families, and saw growth interest in our volunteers. We look forward to continuing to serve our residents because we are public servants. We are human services. My name is Matthew Nieves, and I'm proud to say that I'm the Acting Director for the Department of Public Works. Public Works consists of buildings and grounds, streets and roads, parks, sanitation, vehicle maintenance, and our beautiful marina. In 2021, we increased services in automated trash and recycling collection with approximately 400 additional stops. We plan to be 100% automated citywide. We also have repaved 14 streets and several municipal lots, including the marina. Introduced a new patch management program for potholes, repairing over 25 streets and lots. Restored the historic ferry slip, a nationally recognized location, and expanded our customer service with the use of SDL, an online management system handling our resident concerns for their public works needs. We are also enhancing our vehicle fleet with electric automated garbage trucks. Our department, regardless of the weather, maintains, responds, and expands services with grit and gravitas. We are Public Works, here to serve our residents. Noelia Cologne, and I'm pleased to serve as the Executive Director of the Business Improvement District and the Urban Enterprise Zone. For over 25 years, the BID has supported local businesses with downtown economic enhancements, promotion, and resources. We continue hard at work with the city partnership that allowed us to maximize our funding from COVID response to downtown developments, including facade grants, newly installed benches on Smith Street, public art, and the launch of PerthAmboyEats.com featuring the local cuisine of some of our remarkable restaurants and eateries. Also, this past year we joined Lieutenant Governor Oliver as she signed a landmark bill that reformed the state's Urban Enterprise Zone program, restoring our funding for the next 10 years. For the first time in over a decade, Perth Amboy will see nearly $1 million reinvested annually in our commercial districts citywide. So we're here to support those courageous individuals who venture to achieve their dream of entrepreneurship, those who work hard every single day to keep their businesses thriving. When it comes to you, our business owners, we offer our wholehearted support because when you succeed, we succeed. Thank you so much for your investment. My name is Irving Lozada. I am very proud to be the director of the Department of Code Enforcement. 
Our office is responsible for ensuring that all city codes are upheld for public health and safety. This includes permits for commercial and residential, building standards, land use, and other city needs. Our code enforcement officers and inspectors use city ordinance as a vital step in overseeing and enforcing these codes adopted by the city. Despite the challenges of the pandemic, our department continues to be open and provide the best customer service, allowing many projects to be completed by our professional inspectors. We are here to serve our community and look forward to increasing our resident experience so that they gain voluntary compliance through education and the use of the technology with SDL Citizen App. We are code enforcement. Our team is here to provide the best customer service in the city of Perth Amboy. God bless you. My name is Larry Catano, and I have the pleasure and honor of serving as the acting chief of police here in the city of Perth Amboy, as well as the director of the Office of Emergency Management. Here in the Perth Amboy Police Department, we exist to serve the citizens of this great city, which we do each and every day. This commitment to public safety is evident in the expansion of manpower and service to our community. In the past year, we saw a significant boost to that public safety by experiencing a tremendous addition to our ranks of our police force. With the 17 new full-time officers added, as well as five special police officers and seven auxiliary police officers, these additional combined with the promotion of nine supervisors is the most we've ever experienced at a single time in the department's more than 300 years of service to this city. In 2021, our abilities to interact with our citizens and youth were limited due to the COVID restrictions. Despite these restrictions, the department hosted its first ever Teens and Cops Together program. This very successful program is in its second offering currently. We have expanded our community engagement to include programs like Coffee with a Cop, Cocoa with a Cop, Child Safety Seatbelt Inspections, Bicycle Safety Events, and let us not forget our ever successful capturing of the Grinch before he was able to steal Christmas. That's just to name a few. As we emerge from this COVID crisis, we look forward to expanding our community engagement and programs even more in the coming year. Together, with the help of all of our citizens, we can continue to make Perth Amboy a better place to live, work, and play.